Hey everybody, Eamon Kelly here, and today we're going to be replacing an arm on the ever popular R5X. So, it's become one of my favorite frames, and unfortunately I had a couple of hard hits on concrete last week in an indoor location, and broke my arm. So, today I show you how easy it is to replace an arm. Now we all know, x hovers Bapu used to be a uh, single plate but the newest version which is very similar but has a new name the R5X now comes with individual arms all you need is a 2.0 and we're gonna see how fast we can do this so let's put some time on the clock three two one go alright and first we're gonna start off with these screws holding the motors in I only used two screws it's probably the reason why I broke this arm Holding on the arm to the center of the quadcopter is only two screws as well, but they meet each arm in the middle so it makes it a little more stronger. There is one more screw holding the flight controller together, but it's not actually holding the arm, but I have found that if you take this screw out, you can pull the arm out a little easier. So, just like that, we are out. I'm going to cut my zip tie, and the arm is gone. All right, now I have my new arm right here. You can find them at xhover.com. Daniel's always got everything in stock. Now I know a lot of guys use a couple of different methods for holding on ESCs, but me personally, I can't even manage to break one of these U-Bad 30 amp ESCs. So I have no other method other than just using a zip tie to hold my ESC and my antenna straw right down to the frame. And after that, we cut the zip tie off and we are done. Two minutes and 16 seconds. Now, we've all been to a race before. We all know it takes at least 20 minutes between each run. So, you have plenty of time to get it swapped and then go enjoy some pizza with Will.